of you who subscribe to me because of a certain video on Clearwater Marine Aquarium's YouTube channel, because I know there are some of you that did that, because right after that video was posted, I got like four or five new subscribers on YouTube. So, a year ago today, hopefully you people know who I'm going to talk about. A year ago today, I got to meet Winter and Hope at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And today is Winter's 12th birthday. Um, they celebrate their birthdays together since they're one day apart, but... Today is Winter's birthday and tomorrow is Hope's birthday. So, I'm just going to kind of give those of you who don't know um, a little overview of Winter's story. So, Winter was rescued on December 5th to... Wow, I got the year and the date mixed up. December 10th. 2005 better so winter was rescued on december 10th 2005 entangled in the ropes of a crab trap and what ended up happening is she was a baby she was rescued at about two months old which is why her birthday is october 10th um and she must have found the crab trap and when anyone, whether it be animal or person, is curious, they go over to see what it is and start playing with it. And that's what she did. She was, she swam around it. She probably mouthed it because dolphins use their face like we use our hands. So, yeah, I know a little bit about dolphins and penguins. Those are my two favorite animals, aside from Toothless. Who doesn't love Toothless? But anyway, back on topic. Um, so, what ended up happening is the crab trap got tangled. She was tangled in it, and it was wrapped around her tail, one of her pectoral fins, around her mouth, and inside her mouth. And if I left out anything else, all you Winter fans, feel free to say those in the comments. Um, and a fisherman found her. And he noticed this, this crab trap bobbing up and down in the water. Noticed that wasn't normal and heard this deep gasp of air and noticed it was a baby dolphin trapped in a crab trap. And he ended up getting some of it off. And then he he called, I don't quite remember who he called. I don't remember all those details. But I know his name is Jim Savage. Because a little over a year ago, he came to see Winter, and they did a live video on Facebook. And so then the, a team from CMA arrived to Clearwater Marine Aquarium and transported her, and staff was already ready since she was so critical. And since the rope was tied so tightly around her tail, they feared she wouldn't make it because they need their tail to swim. And when the trainers would drag her around and like, not drag her, but like carry her, I guess, like they would walk around the pool and be holding her so she could be moving because she was exhausted from trying to keep herself afloat and this thing being wrapped around her that was probably excruciatingly painful and so while they would carry her around the pool you could see cartilage from her tail just 
slowly slipping away from her body. And then her tail and two vertebrae eventually just fell off because it there was a lot of dead tissue from the rope being so tight around her tail. And again, they thought she wasn't going to make it because there has never been a dolphin without a tail. But she pulled through and... She taught herself how to swim in a side-to-side motion so she could get around the pool by herself once she had fluids. And at this time, she would nurse from a bottle with special fish formula that gives nutrients and food. And so she started swimming that way. And since she was confirmed a long-term resident, they, the care providers started some husbandry training, which is basically basically veterinary care. And what they did was they would teach her different behaviors. So she would find um, her time with people to be positive because she did not like anyone touching her wound. She didn't want anyone near that area, which I understand. Like, when I was little, and I, I don't know, scraped my knee on the sidewalk, I didn't want anyone touching it. Not even my parents. So, I know how that is, and I'm sure anyone would. And, so, once she got that training and bonded with her care providers, they continued to clean her wound, and... She's healed to this day, but she continues to swim in that side-to-side motion, and it's damaging her spine because a dolphin's biology is designed to make them move up and down, not side-to-side. So it was damaging her spine, which could lead to paralysis. So they thought about making her a prosthetic tail. And a company called Hanger Clinic Clinic makes her tails, and she's gone through countless tails. By the time she was six or seven, she had already gone through 17 tails. And there is this special gel. It's actually called Winter's Gel because it was developed specifically for winter. But now people... People with prosthetics use it too because it's extremely comfortable. I got to feel it when I went there. And I was expecting it to be very uncomfortable because, like, I, prosthetic body parts just doesn't sound appealing to me. And I thought it'd be uncomfortable. And when I got to feel it, I was like, oh, I kind of like this. And that's how it is with a lot of people that have prosthetics, apparently. So... Even people use Winter's Gel. So, now, Winter has a prosthetic tail. And when she first got it, in Dolphin Tail, she bangs it against the wall two times. With the first two tails and then the third one she liked. Um, That was just for the movie. That never happened. She actually adjusted pretty well to the very first tail. And her trainers taught her what she had likely forgotten, how to move in an up and down motion around her pool. And now she uses her tail on a daily basis. But this is a common misconception, and I've said it multiple times in videos because I like to help people that don't understand. Winter does not wear her tail all day, every day, 24-7. It's used as a physical therapy tool, and so for her physical therapy sessions, she gets massages. They light, um, the trainers will lightly press down on her peduncle, which is the area that the tail goes on. The winter's gel goes on first, then the tail, then another layer of winter's gel goes on over the tail. So, 
then they do that for about a few minutes a day. Sometimes they go a day without doing it. It just depends. They don't keep it consistent because they want everything to be unpredictable. So winter doesn't think, oh, I have to do this now. Kind of like people. Like, oh, I have to go to school now. Like, she enjoys her physical therapy. And that's one thing I really love about her is she enjoys her life and people feel sorry for her because they're like, oh, she doesn't have a tail. She should be back in the wild. Um, no. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. So for those of you that don't know, the Clearwater Marine Aquarium is a rescue, rehab, and release facility. So the only animals that are residents have physical disabilities or injuries that prevent them from being released in the wild, like Winter. She doesn't have a tail. How is she supposed to survive in the wild? She can't wear her prosthetic all the time because that would be like someone working out at a gym for 24-7. And that would not be fun, in my opinion. So, now, 12 years later, Winter has inspired millions of people all over the world, including me. Just her vocalizations is enough to make me smile. Like, I know that's all I go by as I am blind, and I actually have a little bit of a similarity to winter we both have scoliosis i have a mild form of scoliosis and we both have prosthetics my right eye is a prosthetic and most people don't believe me when i say that but i was really happy because i have two things that relate me to winter and i really love when Facebook does live videos of them because I can hear Winter and Hope vocalizing. I love Hope too, but since today is Winter's birthday, I figured I should do Winter's story. And tomorrow, if I'm not too busy, I will do Hope's story since tomorrow is Hope's actual birthday. Hope's story is a bit shorter than Winter's, but that's okay. And one thing that I want to show you is I actually got something when I went to Clearwater Marine Aquarium. I got quite a few things. If I can get it out. And sorry if you have a very up close view of my face and things are going to fall. Probably. Because this is kind of big. Ah, oh, it's stuck. Oh, 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 wow, it's just like, okay. I almost gave something away. There, okay, this is not going well. There we go. So, I doubt you could see me. I was in my closet. What I have here, I bet you can already see is winter i have a stuffed winter they gave me for free and um so i have a drawstring bag in my closet and my winter was tangled up around it and then this i bet you can guess what this is i really hope you can see it it's Winter's tail. It attaches by Velcro. And what's funny is that's that's the most expensive Winter plush they sell. The one with the detachable tail. And I got it for free. Which is amazing. And it was, I think it was autographed by some of the movie stars, but I can't feel that. So here's her back. And... You can see, this is her peduncle. The part, I, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible at showing things, but I'm pretty good with my face. So, 
this part where the tail goes, that's her peduncle. And there's a slight curvature in her spine because that's how winter is. And you can see her dorsal fin and her pec fins and her eyes. And this is her rostrum. People just call it a beak or a nose, but it's actually called a rostrum. And then I think right here on her right side, it says winter. There's stitching in it that says winter. Now, I'm not going to show you how the tail goes on because I still struggle with putting it on. And I can't, I need two hands to do it. So, yeah, that is one thing I got from CMA. I do have a few other things. I have... Okay, so I can't tell if this is Winter the Dolphin that can or Dolphin Tail 2. Because I got both, so... I'm pretty sure this one, usually I do better if I put it on the bed. This one is Winter the Dolphin Who Can. Sorry, I have to do it this way. There. I'm pretty sure that one is Winter the Dolphin Who Can. That's how I knew a lot of the other information, like all the inside stuff. I got that for free. When I went to the aquarium. And I think you heard me say it a second ago. But I also got Dolphin Tail 2 for free. And I'm pretty sure both of them were autographed by the movie stars. Most likely Sawyer, Hazel, and Phoebe. Or Cozy... Nathan, and Austin. Yeah, I'm weird. I pay attention to their names. And I got one more thing. If I can find it, because it's kind of small. I also got this book, which I don't know why they gave me a book, because I can't read it. But they were being nice. I also got this book. Sorry, I have to go up really, I have to go up from the book and it's easier for me to feel like I was with the movies. So, this is my book that I got. It's Dolphin Tail 2 and I think it was autographed as well. And I also have a Hope plush, but I will show you that tomorrow or whenever I do Hope's birthday video since tomorrow is Hope's actual birthday. And then, just as an added bonus, Toothless Stormfly. I really hope you can see half of what I'm showing you. I, I'm better at filming when it's just my face as opposed to um, objects that I'm trying to show. Like, when I try to show my friends things, they're like, move the camera up, or to the right, or down, or out more. Like, it gets annoying to me, because I'm like, why can't I just do it right? But yeah, so, I, my, I went live on Facebook the day I got to go meet Winter and Hope. Well, I got to touch and interact with Hope, but I didn't get to do anything like that with Winter. I fed Winter, and she was in front of me, but I wasn't allowed to touch her. I was allowed to see her tail and feel raw fish, which was actually really cool. I like the feel of raw fish. My mom is not happy about that, though, because she hates fish. But... I will go into more detail about my trip probably in, in another video, but I will put a link in the description for the video that Clearwater Marine Aquarium posted on their channel. 
of me, of my story, and a little bit of my encounter. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of me basically telling Winter's story. And, happy birthday, Winter. I love you a lot. Like, Winter is my actual spirit animal. And I'd say Toothless is my animated spirit animal. <laughs> I'm weird. I have an animated spirit animal, but who cares? So, yeah. Happy birthday to Winter. I cannot believe she's 12. Dolphins can live when they're in the care of humans. One of the dolphins they had in the first movie and a little bit of the second, um, Panama, she lived to be over 40 years old. So, Winter is going to live to be probably that long unless something weird happens and she ends up passing away and I'll probably bawl my eyes out because winter hearing winter vocalize on Facebook every day brightens my day usually so unfortunately I can't post my video on Facebook because or on YouTube my video when I went live because I forgot to push save to camera roll so I will just put a link in the description to the video that CMA posted. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my little bit of my dolphin tail merchandise and winter story and wishing winter a happy birthday. So bye.